Good morning and good evening, my dear beloved friends. Warm welcome to one and all of you. And I am very, very happy and delighted as always to be part of such discussions where we are dealing through various subjects that are very, very important for life, right? And in this world, there is nothing else that is uh, big or mightier or greater for us to conquer or for us to desire or to think about, right? The, the key aspect that you and I always should be focused. I'm not denying that you shouldn't be focusing on your bank balances, on your cars or bungalows or villas or whatever, right? But what gets you there is nothing but the kind of desire that you have in your life to embrace something called as positivity, success and joy these are the three things each time we always try to instill and inculcate in everybody's brain because money cannot buy any of this your success money cannot buy the joy that you inherit in your heart i'm not talking about happiness happiness is temporary it's like a passing cloud it moves um, along with the situation along with certain events in your life happiness comes and then it stays for some time and then it goes like how the cloud stays uh, still for some time once the shower is done and when the wind breezes passes by the cloud also pass by in the direction of the wind in the similar way many things many events in your life that happens the happiness pass by but joy is not going to change you will be a very joyful person you will be a very joy through joy you inherit peace and all that so i'm not getting into the philosophical doctrines but if you observe these sessions, there are 50 plus sessions available in our playlist. I would strongly encourage you, please subscribe to our channel, get access to all these uh, playlists. Therefore, you will be able to also go through all of these sessions which we have done in the past. And you would observe one thing that we are teaching positivity, that we are teaching peaceful mindset, that we are definitely helping you to embrace something called as the joy in your heart right and all these things money cannot buy money can buy you these cars and shoes and suits and all you know clothes like these and right <laughs> but these are all going to perish at some point of time uh, but then the uh, these are the aspects which you need to inculcate it comes through mindset it comes through change in attitude renewal of mind and uh, you know that that transformation in you. you you need to rejuvenate it you need to replenish it with refill and refill with new uh, what to say principles and therefore you will have that added value in your life all right so we are just narrating the very reason why we are here and we are justifying why we are getting involved in these kind of sessions time and again and how it's going to help you at another session at another topic we are here right in front of you to present something about gossip every one of us in our life you if you hear somebody saying that hey you know what I'm not into gossip. I don't know what is this, but they will be definitely involved, right? Only thing they just don't know the real definition of gossip, the real meaning of gossip. And that's the reason they're saying that I'm not involved in all that. But that's why we are trying to clarify here through the sessions, through various illustrations, definitions and examples. Therefore, you understand uh, after the session, you will be surprised. Oh, had I been the biggest, biggest gossiper, but unknowingly I was doing all of this, which is fine today. You come to that realization, therefore, you have the chance to repent of your mistakes, correct your mistakes, and come out of that pit called as gossip, and therefore, you're a, you're, you're a person who's freed. All right, let's talk about the basics of gossip. What is this gossip by definition? Many people ask this question, and they don't try to search for an answer. Why? Because they enjoy this habit called as gossip right and they don't want to search too much into the gossip i but i have to do this for you a person who repeats the same stories time and again about other people is the definition basic definition of gossip the other definition also goes like this the talks or rumors involving the personal lives of other people is also called as gossip in my own way of definition if i'm allowed to freely explain this gossip you observe and see you will notice something like this we will gather up four or five people or two girls and two boys gathering up they will talk about a person who's not part of that gang 
that's exactly called as gossip you will not be talking anything about the person who are existing in that gang you will not be talking about each other but you will be talking about a person and all negative things hey you know what he has done hey you know what kind of car he had you know what kind of love letter he wrote you know what he did secretly you know how he ditched us you know how he did this and why can't you bring that person and also make part of your gang and talk all these things right in front of him there is no room for gossip there is no room for misapprehension there is no room for misconception there is no room for hatred you develop hatred see after you have the 30 minutes of discussion about a person who is not existing in the sense who, who, who is not part of that group or gang you know you carry that lot of hatred in your heart you will be having that grudge you will develop that offense you will develop that revenge you will develop that anger and when you go down um, probably you did all this in the cafeteria and when then you get back to your desk and you see that guy coming and this poor fellow didn't know whatever you people had been talking about him because you did all of these in his absence and through your assumptions right and when three or four people join hands and they develop that assumption 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 my goodness it'll be something like you know a person get placed an order uh, to build a statue of a horse but then the way how we described was not so very clear so so very vivid or plain um, or understandable that this guy misinterpreted it and he ended up you know draw, drawing a picturing a dragon and then he developed the dragon statue or built the dragon statue and presented to that guy right this is how misapprehensions are going to lead us and most of this go gossips right the key element for the gossip is misapprehension you would have heard something you would have visualized something and you would have imagined something and you would you would have been decisive on something and you would have been judgmental on something each of these parameters no it has no connection to anything right and that is the reason why we are supposed to have enough witnesses or the easiest thing would be call that person right come we are here to discuss about you we thought we will gossip or we would gossip about you rather we thought we will do a kind of a live interaction why don't you be part of this because this discussion is about you i am telling you the entire dis discussion will get over in a matter of two minutes why the guy would say hey no man absolutely this is not what i had done probably what you heard was not the truth and all that right and uh, the guy is going to explain everything clearly and then that's it the meeting gets over i've been working in corporate field for a very long time and lot of this turmoil incidents and a uh, lot of uh, you know that firing incidents sparkling sparking incidents happen because of gossips but i get these two people in the same room and i mediate the conversation the conversation gets over in a matter of five minutes right that's called as gossip and gossip is tightly coupled to misapprehension therefore do not get into some sort of conclusion or understanding just because that guy told and this girl told and all that no you inquire right and you call that guy the best way to inquire is call the person about whom the gossip starts right because it's much to do with the person not about a event or a natural incident or a natural disaster we don't gossip about those because why the, those are very transparent those are even written down in the newspapers and it is available in the social media but the gossips happens in a kind of an, an underground uh, kind of scenario right it is like um, it, it, it gets operated in the dark therefore please come out of the dark situation and get into light all right now what is the legal definition of gossip right creating sharing or repeating a rumor about another person or it can also call, be called as creating sharing or repeating a rumor that is that becomes a burden right you won't be able to forget you know what that guy told i heard about the you know this guy talking like this to me did you clarify with that guy directly or did you hear it you did not hear it live you heard it through someone how can you trust that person whoever it may be maybe that guy want to create a conflict between you and that person and therefore he speaks all ill about so do not leave things blindly right when somebody creates and then shares it it is rumor it's just a mere rumor and it need not be truth and neither it can be lie but then you inquire it properly and then take a decision after you've collected enough evidences now why do we gossip about others is there some chemical reaction that is running in our head that makes us to gossip i also get it out many times and cause gossiping is contagious right 
for example eating groundnuts you want to taste one groundnut you will end up finishing half a kg half a kilogram of <laughs> uh, groundnuts contagious right yawning is contagious one person yawns the whole uh, uh, whoever is present in that conference room everybody will start to yawn right there is a chemical reaction that gets triggered in the brain and it's uncontrollable and that's why um, these kind of uh, sessions are very important to help you understand what is contagious and how we could control it gossiping is contagious similar to yawning similar to eating groundnuts right people who don't feel good about themselves temporarily feel better when they judge others negatively these are the reasons or this this is one of the primary reason why people push themselves forward to gossip gossip is like that disease that sickness and they don't consider it as sickness or disease but they call it as something like you know uh, let, let's discuss um, but you know what without discussing without talking we are not going to arrive at a solution that's not discussion that's about you know throwing garbage at each other that too about a person who's not in that room right you're actually killing yourself it's like a slow poisoning when people can't generate interesting discussions based on knowledge or ideas gossip can you know arouse you know in, as part of the people's interest they, they they won't be able to live or survive without gossip people gossip to feel as though they belong to the group some people do it without any interest because why they are going to be ignored next time they don't get this kind of news the news that they are looking for um, they will not be ready to share therefore you also pretend right and you add, add more fuel to the burning fire some people go with a can of kerosene and they uh, or a can, a can of diesel or petrol and they burn it other and pour it on the burning fire although they have no interest right please don't be part of such groups the news will somehow travel don't worry about that because these days social media is very strong and the same social media is strong within corporate and outside corporate so don't be worried about the news it will somehow travel and why are you desperate anyway you will get to know if not this month you will get to know next month what do you lose between this month and next month or between this week and this next week or between this day and next day or between this hour and that hour it will somehow travel to you you should have that kind of confidence because we are seeing that every day right every single day we are seeing these things happening many people ask this question is gossiping negative or positive it is always negative according to me but let me justify it gossip is or let me define it and narrate it gossip is usually neutral this is for many uh, th th this is how many uh, you know people who have researched on this gossiping parameter have concluded but negative gossip is twice as common as positive gossip most gossip is about someone of the person knows social economic and education status do not dictate how much a person gossips now i mentioned a word called as negative and positive gossip negative gossip we have covered positive gossip is very healthy you can gossip about a person's success in his absence why because you're not able to get his appointment probably um, you know you know pe pe people have grown from nowhere to somewhere where you which you cannot even imagine and you want to gossip in uh, you know about that or you can call it as a discussion um, therefore that becomes a positive gossip you are getting into the analysis but i will tell you what nine out of ten people don't get into positive gossip gossip is always uh, used for negative why because if you were you you really want to research about a person's success you don't have to gather together as a gang or a community you would have done that anyway with the help of your simple google tool or a computer right so positive gaps uh, gossips are very very rare therefore don't take it as an advantage no no positively we were discussing about the negative aspects of a person you see some clever people they have such definitions it can never become a positive gossip gossip it is all about when you discuss negatively about a person it's a negative gossip and it is not going to take you anywhere it is only going to pull you down i clarified it very clearly right very clearly what is the root cause of gossip what triggers gossip what is the meaning uh, for for somebody to gather together the root cause is almost always without fail it is jealous you people envy you're not able to take this person's growth or promotion how can he get you know and how how can he he's specially favored and all that the most the more successful you are the more attractive you become the more kind the more self-assured the more people also will gossip so this is for the people who hear such gossips you know what all they are talking about you don't be worried why because you have become a successful person you become more powerful you become more attractive you become um, you know more confident you have grown from one level to the next level naturally people will envy 
and therefore gossips are going to be imminent and inevitable so therefore you take it easy they do it because it's like a mind game have you seen sledging in cricket right in soccer also it happens three four people consistently they will be talking some nonsense about that person's sister and uh, calling that person's sister with some names and etc this is how one guy is zidane zindane zidane, zidane right one of, one of france team captain he headbutt uh, another guy in the italy team and the guy was given red card and was thrown out of the field um, and after that france lost terribly they lost and i watched that game and i knew that definitely they are playing mind games sledging that fellow and this is exactly what they want out of him right so gossiping is also something of that sort and therefore you got to really watch out and the root cause for gossip you need to understand they were jealous of the zindane zidane zindane's game quality such a strong player if that one guy is there he is the savior of the whole team they will be no way able to win the team because why they envy his quality but they were finding all the negative ways of pulling him down and you you really if if you are hearing such gossips or sledging etc directly indirectly you just ignore it that's for all the good people i'm telling who have grown successfully right bad people who are listening don't do that it's it's really demonic right uh, it, it's not it's not a human attitude or human tendency to envy with somebody and pull them pull them down through this negative way of doing things it's really not good please quit that habit now why is gossip so bad you can learn from the person and apply those principles now why is gossip getting so bad a lot of gossip is driven by concern for others and has positive social effects too i'm not denying that right uh, for example in social media facebook and all twitter if you see there are a lot of gossips that have really got the attention from you know the top leadership and from a lot of politicians and a lot of government uh, and the laws were amended because of the gossips it has got such a positive effect also i'm not denying work from his group and also also found that engaging in gossip can actually um, sorry work from this group uh, of people who are involved in all this kind of you know the the the, the positive way of gossiping uh, can actually trigger a lot of um uh, you know people's mind to react and act you know people would be just calm no they they will be forced to react and act and that's good one way right that's the only positive effect but why it becomes so bad is people move away from the positivity to pour out their frustrations losing their temper emotions all that when this gets mixed up it becomes a kind of a disaster or it becomes a kind of a uh, what to say even mob gathering happens somebody would have started the gossip playfully it becomes a violence and therefore what happens the person who started will get arrested that's why in social media uh, people who are managing the group admins no be very careful and watchful set some rules people are not following that rules no please remove them from the group else you it will become a trouble for you now how gossip impacts a person being the focus of gossip is not only likely to be humiliating in the moment right it can also have a long term negative impact on a person's mind it shakes the self confidence of a person it brings down the self esteem of a person the impact might in some cases contribute to the development of depression anxiety suicidal thoughts and also eating disorders therefore definitely those that are involved in this practice of negative gossips refrain because why in other words you are killing a human being and technically you are called a murderer so you don't want to be part of this gang right murdering gang right so uh, definitely medical folks have discovered this how much of this biological impact and stress uh, is instilled in a person's main mind whenever he or she hears about what people talk about them right and another interesting question is do men get involved in gossip for some reasons it is always tagged to females always you know our beloved uh, uh, you know ladies uh, or, or you know they get involved in gossip but you will be shocking with the statistics right many male participants when they were when universities like stanford and all they went and inquired they actually denied that they gossip but according to the study which they conducted secretly following certain people and taking samples nearly all of the females readily admitted it and that's why i have a great respect for ladies they are quite honest they they pour out right they are very emotional and they are honest too but the study found that 33% of men indulge in gossip every day almost every other day every other moment 
compared only with 26 percentage of women the percentage of women were much lesser compared to the percentage of men therefore men don't ever look down on ladies right we are the biggest gossipers therefore you please change the dangers of gossip are multiple why we are giving all the statistics and trends is the dangers of gossip are really really big and you won't even imagine it it it, it brings erosions to trust and it spoils the morale i'm just listing down few it it brings down the productivity right because of gossip many many employers have witnessed that their productivity has come down by 58 percentage according to a study the employer will incur loss and therefore don't blame he didn't give me bonus there was no hikes this year and all that why because because of your mouthpiece you involved in you in, you were involved in gossip and therefore you pulled down the motives you sh shaken the moral of the company and all that this is these are all the post consequences and you know what in this pandemic situation because of this work from home that has been made as a remote model working uh, you know as a go forward strategy in many companies which has embraced like permanent work from home like ibm productivity has gone down by 40 plus percentage why because there is no room for this coffees and lunches and get togethers etc no taking the coffee mug and going to the cafeteria and spending like you know two three hours and coming down and then again work for half an hour and there is you know people have witnessed this employers have witnessed this and they were able to pay it back to the many you know people pandemic many companies were able to increase the hike they doubled the hike they tripled the hike they were able to give more bonus they appreciated the employees for their work and this is amazing right and the productivity loss can be eliminated that's that's one of the important danger right it increases anxiety among the employees which we discussed it increases a lot of depression and it increases a lot of divisions you will see them they, they are divided right a lot of gangs big gangs minor mini gangs and all that there will be a lot of gang wars happening right they'll be throwing blows hurling blows against each other most importantly they'll be heating you know hurting each other's feelings and bringing down their reputation and also the company's reputation these are the dangers you think what you want to do and slowly if you uh, don't change and you move rapidly towards that pace of um, that that pace increases the gossiping pace increases you can count down in matter of months or you know weeks your company is going to be shut down then you will be jobless and your employer also will be in debt you will file a bankruptcy note and finish all of us go home and spend time happily in this pandemic very tough to get job anyway even otherwise also right it is a very competitive world why do employees gossip they've done a research from employees perspective also why do they gossip what is the reason right when it comes to gossip there are four reasons which they have discovered i will be very quickly telling you there is a security fear whether i will lose job or all and all that because of that fear they start to gossip more they, they get envy and they get jealous and uh, do they belong here or not they get that kind of they lose the trust and the intimacy right is is is, is another reason when the boss is intimate towards one colleague and he ignores the other one naturally that is also another reason for that gossip that triggers envy all of this you now finally translates to jealous factor right and the desire to work with others they always end up with personal conflicts you know because why again jealous is the reason that guy is that girl is dressing better than him and uh, better than this girl and that guy is you know gelling with that girl he has too many girlfriends all this nonsense right it, it's all translated to envy it's called as bitter i would call it as bitter envy it's really really bitter right that uh, what is a bitter gotch is there right when you bite it how you feel like that some people success know they are not able to tolerate you know you have changed your attitude right you carry your own weight now how to handle gossip we will see a few tips and with, with then we will close and i do have you know a couple of more topics we will take the two three extra minutes don't you think this is going to help this is very important you understand all this nomenclatures very clearly your life changes your behavior changes your attitude changes and uh, we are offering this for free many people pay money and get into the psychiatric sessions and counseling sessions and medical treatments still uh, you know it's no effect but we are giving it for free so please pay attention and try to note down these things and you know apply these principles how do you handle gossip this is not about overcoming gossip we will discuss that how do you handle gossip you don't want to gossip but gossipers are approaching you you somehow got caught in the gang how do you handle it first of all you ignore it keep uh, behave like a deaf fellow right don't ever pay attention gossip is oftentimes best dealt with by paying no attention to at all 
right and if they're gossiping about you somebody is you know transporting that information to your ears ignore it same principle applies to both you are pulled by force ignore it if you heard it from through someone about their gossiping about you you please ignore it you both ways you are safe most people don't think very hard about gossip if they see you react in a way that seems agitated or they get more shame they feel more shameful they might assume the rumors is um, you know the rumor that they heard is untrue and they themselves will back off and dissolve but if you start reacting more what happens is it gives them more appetite to chew it gives them more excitement and that's why you know you should not react oh, is it a fine you just move on yeah you are calling me a dog fine but you see i have only two two hands and two legs and how you call me a dog just put a question back to them and then you just uh, fl- you know flee the spot <laughs> that's the best way to insult uh, such people and put them to shame why because they are doing absolutely something something useless it's absolutely an act of stupidity they are wasting time and you don't get the time time is money time is valuable right therefore a good policy is to react to gossip as if it doesn't bother you at all you know, don't keep it externally that way internally also you don't take it to heart just feel relaxed calm chill out okay because why it's after all a gossip it as uh, are you bothering if uh, if the breeze turns out little cold or little hot no you make necessary ways to protect yourself you wear some uh, woolen clothes or something like that if the if the breeze is too cold if the breeze is too hot then obviously you wear sleeveless shirts and you you turn on your air condition and all that accordingly you are changing and you are finding some measures to uh, prevent those impact to reach you or you are taking some corrective measures similarly right gossip is like a breeze let it pass by man accordingly i will wear my woolen uh, clothing or i will wear my sleeveless shirt i will change my uh, principle the way how i receive things how do you prevent this backbiting backbiting is also similar to gossip in somebody's absence you are talking something is called as either backbiting or gossip both are same now there is a three step guide simple set a zero tolerance it's as good as like ignoring which we spoke second thing is enforce that policy do not set it only you know in your mind but enforce it ball is policy all along your life and with all your organs control your mouth control your eyes the anger in the eyes can be also seen Uh, control your actions with hand you feel like slapping somebody don't get into man handling Imp- implement that policy right and allow um, you know uh, some time to resolve that conflict don't immediately barge into action last but not the least i want to just talk about few tips to overcome gossips this applies to both gossipers this applies to both uh, to the other person who receives that information they are gossiping about you this applies to both right regulate your negative emotions do not please get into the negativity just because you heard it through someone i told this before also expand your perspective and perception please talk to the person who was involved and directly have that one on one eyeball to eyeball have that conversation close it off don't carry it as a baggage it's a garbage that you are carrying behind your back you don't want to do that and thirdly practice self compassion have little compassion right because i told you about the consequences it leads to a person even to suicidal thoughts therefore you just cannot you know get into these kind of things right and um, forget about that thought right it's about depression you are pulling down somebody's confidence how can you do that it's as good as like murdering somebody you cannot do that it's it's not human it's not it's not act of humanity it's act of cruelty therefore you don't want to do that and thirdly de identify yourself from the situation which means refrain from such situations Ref- do not be part of such gangs tell some reasons and then you please take an excuse and refrain from talking to such people fifthly consider how you want to respond if you hear some gossips you please consider how you want to respond because that decision is in your hands only you want to react you don't want to react you want to overreact or you want to pull it down or you want to throw a question back to them you know insult them and put them to shame not using all this unparliamentary language but as i told you somebody calls you hey many people are calling you as a dog because you inherit the character of a dog really but i have only two legs man which tells that you know absolutely you are bunch of useless guys brainless fellows don't you know with two legs i cannot become a dog simple yeah this, i'm just giving a crazy example and and uh, so, sixthly give it some time allow some time if at all you carried you are carried away with this emotions and because somebody spoke something give it some time settle down right and same gossipers give it some time why because truth will come to light the more time you give the more truth you discover because why you are excavating for you are digging for the truth 
don't dig for garbage you don't have to dig for garbage in india garbage flows everywhere uh, but you dig for the truth you want to find the treasure of the truth therefore it takes time lastly remember that you are not alone many many people go through these kind of mental harassments and stuff like that gossiping is uncontrollable and more so that social media promotes gossiping like this anybody can talk anything anybody is allowed to gossip anything and they've created a strong platform facebook twitter whatsapp this and that and nobody is controllable here yeah and until the law judges them and jails them then also people don't change they are least bothered so you're not alone in this many people go through the same harassment it's all in your hands in your mind in your heart how you want to control and manage this all right with this we will close and once again want to thank you for your patience and taking time to listen to these sessions share it with your friends share it with your loved ones near ones dear ones may all of them benefit and god bless you stay safe stay healthy do not roam much around because pandemic is not gone okay god bless